Hi, welcome back to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I'm glad you're here. I'm going to start today by talking a little bit about the shirt that I'm wearing. Um, it has little peekaboos there and a nice neckline. I cannot remember the pattern number for this shirt, so I'm sorry. Um, it has a V insert, inset in the back and the back is a little bit longer. Um, I made all four views of it and then I got rid of the pattern because it's not especially flattering on me and so I didn't feel like there was any reason to keep it around. Um, I do really like this fabric. I did get this fabric at a thrift store and you'll see that this is a theme. Um, with some of my older pieces before I really got to understanding what I like to sew with um, and I already knew what I like to wear but I made some compromises on the fiber content of fabric because I really liked the print of the fabric and I do not do that very often anymore. I will occasionally do it and I'm going to show you one today that I did just about a month ago. Um, but this, I don't even know if this is garment fabric. It is very stiff. It's some kind of crepe. It's got little wavies in it, but the, the fabric itself is so beautiful. I just found it irresistible. And so, um, I made it up and it is uncomfortable to wear. I usually only wear it during the winter. Um, you know, or in the evenings during the summer, I have to wear a tank top under it because this fabric is completely sheer. So, um, sorry, I don't know the pattern number for this one, but you can get this, a similar thing to this from a million different places. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about today was this cashmere Appleton dress. This is the dress that I was wearing, um, during my very first, um, sewing video. And I talked a lot about how beautiful this fabric was, but you could only see me from about here up. And this pattern is a V-neck. So literally you could see almost none of this fabric. And someone commented that they'd really love to see the fabric. And I was like, well, yeah, I guess that's a pretty reasonable request considering how much I talked about it. So I brought the dress down to show you how beautiful it is. Now, I got this fabric from Craftsy probably two or even three years ago. And I just love the colors. And I love these great big flowers. And I love the painterly effect. You'll kind of see that that's a theme for me. I really love soft, connected, watery looking prints. This one is that way. This one is that way. And um, two of the other fabrics that I'm going to show you today have this kind of watercolory, connected, flowy look about them. That's what I gravitate towards. So there's that. Again, this is ITY that I got from Craftsy. Um, not the most comfortable to wear, but it's okay in the winter. Um, you can handle it in the winter. Um, so then I brought a skirt that I finished not too long ago to show you. And this, um, this is my little book where I write down everything that I'm working on. It's um, from the work basket, work basket sewing workbook. It was not very expensive. 10 or 15 bucks, I probably got it on Amazon, um, and it's just the cutest. Um, it has these little retro um, line drawings all through it. And what I do is I use it um, to record the um, projects that I've made. And so even though I didn't want to go digging through my pattern stash to find um, this pattern, I can look in here and I can see that I made this in the second week of October um, 2017. And it is McCall 6994, 6994 View A. And um, it's a rayon jersey. And... I bought this pattern and fabric in a kit from Fabric Mart. 
I saw the same kits on Craftsy, so they must be related somehow. That's what I wrote down here. Um, that's just me speculating. I don't know, but the, they both had the exact same kit with the exact same fabric. Um, so there's that. And this rayon jersey is, um, it's really soft. And it's, it's almost like brushed. And it's got that classic rayon drape. I mean, it is super drapey. And I think it's going to have lots of terrific movement as a skirt. Um, this skirt pattern, 6994, um, is a learn to sew pattern. And um, it's really fun to sew quick and easy patterns sometimes and get something done. Um, incidentally, this um, fabric lays so nicely and it doesn't curl at all. Um, I left this unhemmed. I have not worn it yet and I'm going to leave it unhemmed. I'm going to wear it once and then I'm going to wash it and dry it and see what the hem looks like after that. If the hem does not look good, if it's starting to curl or it otherwise looks bad, um, then I will go ahead and hem it with a twin needle. Um, but for now, I really love the way that it looks and um, I'm not really the type of um, seamstress who wants to do a lot of extra work. So if it if I can make it work without um, hemming it, then that's fine with me. You know, no one will notice, I don't think. So there's that. Um, I have a lot of this. So I have three more yards. This is, it's called, and I got this from Craftsy. This I got from Craftsy, I believe. And this. These are three yard cuts. This is a beautiful kind of a pearly gray with ivory dots. These are ivory dots, by the way, on all of them. And they are, um, it doesn't say who the manufacturer are, dot print rayon lycra jersey knit. Um, and three yards of this and three more yards of the black. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these. But boy, do I have a lot of them. I kind of go in a buying frenzy sometimes when I see a good deal. Um, so what am I working on today? I wanted to show you what I'm working on today. And um, it is this cotton and chalk pattern. It's called the Holiday Set. And it comes with a tank top and then two views of this um, kimono style top. And so I'm making view A, and um, it has, um, so the shoulder seam is sewn here, and then the rest of your sleeve falls free. So it's kind of just like this, only this wouldn't be sewn, so that's going to fall free. And then, you know, it'll have um, a line of stitching on either side of the body, and then the rest of this is going to hang free. And view A has the placket. And... Um, I was sewing earlier today and I really botched up the placket. So um, we'll see what I do with that and I'll come back and show you when I'm finished with it. I'll probably finish it today or tomorrow. Um, I pretty much have nothing left to do but him. Him and him and him and him and him because that's a lot of hemming. Um, the fabric that I'm using is another thrift store find and um, this is just leftover. And this is another fabric that I knew that I really didn't like the content, the fiber content of, but the color, um, the colors just drew me in and this kind of flowy, watery, you know, um, you know, it looks like water or light or something. I just, it really appealed to me. And when I bought this, I was very tan. It was probably towards the end of the summer and we kayak and hike and bike. And, um, and so this, these colors look really good with a tan. I do not have a tan right now. I'm as white as anybody in Colorado who doesn't ski can be at the end of the winter. Um, so this is the fabric I'm going to make it out of and I'll wear it with a tank top underneath and hopefully it won't be too hot. Um, cause there's nothing natural about this fabric, nothing. Um, so we'll see. It's pretty though. So what I have cut out and ready to go next, um, this is 
I think a new pattern. It's new to me anyway. I bought it about a month ago and um, I was looking to see if I could see a date on it. Sometimes they're easy to find and sometimes you really have to get into it. So I don't know. It's relatively new. Um, Simplicity 8419. I am going to make view A and again I was swept into buying a, an unnatural fiber because I fell in love with the fabric. It's a Nicole Miller and it's a suede poly. I'm not sure. It's incredibly drapey and oh my gosh this is so much right up my alley. It's just so beautiful. So beautiful. Look at that. I just could not leave it behind and it feels fantastic on the skin. It's gorgeous. This was on sale at Joann's for $7 and 50 cents a yard. And I figured as a kimono with a cotton t-shirt underneath it, I don't feel like this is going to be too miserable in terms of being hot like, like this. I mean, you can even see how stiff this is. Um, this one doesn't really have any drape whatsoever, um, but this does. In fact, this, this is probably going to go in the giveaway bag because I've worn it four or five times. Um, I love the, the look of the fabric, but, um, the feel of it and to wear it, um, just not my favorite. So that one's probably going to go bye-bye, but I will show you that kimono when I'm all finished with it. That is going to be a very easy sew. That's probably two hours. And the only reason why it's even going to be that long is because that's a lot of hemming. So, um, now I told you on my very first video that I was going to show you, um, some of my thrift store finds for fabric. And, you know, I already told you this is from the thrift store. The turquoise and green one is from a thrift store. Um, so I, I really like to try to pay about $2 a yard if I can. Um, I don't like to pay a whole lot more. I will if the fabric is really great. Um, but when I'm showing you thrift store finds, I'll tell you the prices and you'll see that for the most part, they really are less than $2 a yard. So, um, got this yesterday and this is gorgeous. It's like a heavyweight linen with, um, silver lame in it. I have not done a burn test on this. I don't know that it's linen, but it looks like linen. The way that it's woven and the thickness of, um, the thickness of the threads themselves. And yeah, the, I'm pretty sure that's linen. Anyway, I'm going to throw this right in the washer and the dryer and see how it behaves. That's how I wash my clothes. I'm a teacher. I don't lead a fancy lifestyle. Um, I think this would make a fantastic jacket. Um, and that way I can casual it up. I would happily wear this with jeans, um, and you know, a white shirt underneath, even a white t-shirt, um, and jeans and some cute shoes or whatever to kind of dress it down a little bit because I don't really lead a very lame life. This um, was $4, $4. I didn't get it for 50% off, but it was $4. And I can't remember, there's either two or three yards here. Um, I try not to buy less than two yards because I just feel like if I have two yards of something, I know I can get something made. Um, so, you know, aside from a pencil skirt, there's not much I can do with just a yard of fabric. So I'm really excited about this. Um, can't wait to make something up for that one. So there's that. So $4 for that beautiful fabric. This fabric was $3. 
and there's three yards here, um, I would say. And this is a cross die, and I have a 100% um, cotton cross die um, dress. It's a shift dress dress that I made that I really love. It's like uh, turquoise blue and a it's two blues woven together. And there's nothing like the way the light plays off of these cross dies. And this appealed to me right away. I love this dusty um, purple. Um, I don't like bright colors. Well, there's some brights over there, but they're watery. Um, I wouldn't wear like a really rich purple, but this dusty purple, I just love. And um, so this, I'm not sure what the content of this is. It could be cotton. It is awfully wrinkly. It could be rayon, although it's a little stiff. If it's rayon, it's really old, like that kind of acetate rayon, but it's got a lot of slubs in it. Um, it could be silk. It could be silk dupiani. I mean, that's what it looks like, um, but I'm not sure. I need to do a burn test. Um, it could be polyester. I'm not sure. But three yards of that for, I don't even remember what I told you, for not very much money. And then the last piece that I got was this. And this was $10. Um, but there's seven or eight yards of this. And it's a, it's a knit and it's 58 inches wide or there, it might be 72, I don't know. I think it's 58. And it is a beautiful marled, um, heathery gray. It's more marled and it's a knit and it is extremely stretchy. It is, let me get the grain here. It has lengthwise stretch, tons of crosswise stretch. It has bias stretch. Um, and there's just a lot of it. It is not, um, fuzzy on the inside. But I think this is a double knit. I'm not exactly sure what a double knit is. If you, if you are exactly sure what a double knit is, tell me. But this almost looks like it has the V's on both sides. And for me, whenever I'm looking at knits and I'm having a hard time saying which is my front and my back. In fact, if I'm sewing solid knits, I will mark on there. Um, I'll make a notation so that I can see which is my back um, right on the fabric so that I don't get confused during construction because I have made that mistake. Um, and so now I make sure that I don't. But this one, I don't think you would be able to tell um, because I think it has V's on both sides. So I wonder if that's what a double knit is. Mm, I think this is the right side though. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's all I have to share with you today. I really appreciate you stopping by. I sure have loved all of the comments and the conversations and the views um, and the subscribers. I haven't checked to see how many subscribers I, I have right now, but um, when I put my last video up for the few days after that, I was checking regularly and um, it was moving right along there. I was so impressed and um, kind of, I don't know, humbled or um, thrilled at all of that. So anyway, I really am loving being a part of the sewing community. And um, I love the older women and the plus size women who are excited to see an older plus size woman um, talking about sewing. So um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and that I see you again real soon. Take care.